All right, uh, my name is Heather Morrill, and I'm a member of Cook First Portland, and I'm excited to be here today to share a recipe for the Consume Something Amazing video series that we're making for the Pacific Northwest CSA Coalition. Um, it is early spring, and we are celebrating arugula, which is bountiful right now, and we're thinking you might need some new ideas of what to do with it. So credit where credit is due. Um, the queen of marinades and sauces, Elsie at Creole Me Up, inspired me to start making more of my own sauces at home. So this is a, a bright, a really bright and flavorful arugula dressing that's very simple, only a handful of ingredients um, fresh from our local farmers. So we have got um, some young um, arugula and when it, is, when it is still young and tender, the leaves get bitter as they get bigger. But when they are small, as you'll find it um, in your CSA this season and farmers are harvesting it, um, it's got a nice like lemony and peppery taste. So that's part of the brightness and we're going to accentuate that even further with our other ingredients. Um, everything for this dressing is going straight into the food processor. Um, I'm gonna take off some of the larger stems, but you don't even need to worry about taking off the stems so much. You really could just food process them until they get pretty smooth. But when you're, when you're throwing in your cup of arugula, like a packed cup, so like a, a big overflowing cup. I've got my bowl here of arugula. Take off some of the larger stems, but otherwise the greens, especially the little leaves, can go straight into the food processor. All right, we've got one packed cup of arugula leaves in our food processor. I don't worry too much about being exact, but it'd be a packed cup if you wanted to fill one up. And then a half of a cup um, of mint leaves, which is another, you know, shows up in spring. Always makes me happy. We'll go through summertime with it. Something likely to show up in your CSA box. As farmers have got it on hand, maybe mostly as a companion plant, but something that's out in the field that we get to enjoy. Or you might see grown around town, befriend your neighbors who have herbs you wanna pick. So a half of a cup of mint. I'm pulling off the leaves. These ones, um, I'm definitely selecting just the leaves from the mint plant. I don't want the stem. All right, and then we've got a third of a cup of olive oil. I need a little bit more in my cup here. It's mostly full. So a third of a cup getting drizzled into our food processor. Um, and then we've got um, about a quarter of a cup of lime juice. You can really do that um, to your taste, but it is certainly adding to the brightness of this dressing. So it's probably one or two limes. I've got one kind of larger lime today. And I'm just gonna make sure I get all the juice out of it. And the rind that comes with the juice is just fine in there because it's all gonna get processed. And then last but not least, we're just gonna put in a little bit of salt and pepper to start, because um, we can always add more. But those are our ingredients. Those are our quick, simple ingredients before we start to process this. And I like a lot of pepper. Um, it's something you could leave out if you wanted to, depending on what exactly you're gonna do. Um, with this dressing, and you'll see an optional ingredient of a jalapeno. Um, and then again, like to your taste, depending on what you like, you might want to add a jalapeno. Um, I'm not going to put one in today. So a couple pulses to start breaking up those greens. So a couple 
couple pulses and then just push down the leaves that may have started to go up the side with a food processor. And just go for it. We're looking for a well combined dressing. And I pulled out most of the stems, so this is a really smooth sauce. Again, you could have left the stems in there. Let me do a taste. So we might want to add more salt. I'm going to do a little bit more salt. A quick blend just to incorporate that. All right, so test it again. Make sure it's salted um, to your liking. Mm, yes, all right, it's got some very good flavor. Um, I love this dressing and of course could you could dress a salad with it. Maybe there are even arugula leaves um, in your salad. I think that this is delicious as a little sauce um, dribbled, o dribbled over pierogies. Um, I really enjoy it with potatoes and so we've got a potato salad recipe coming up that uses this as an ingredient and also wonderful on the side of a um, meat or alternative protein that you're cooking up for dinner to just have a little zing, um, a sauce to go on the side of whatever you're cooking. I hope you try it out.